Hi, I'm Mark Marmer from Signature Electric. So we're continuing with our series about electric vehicle charging in condominiums. And we're gonna show you different scenarios of different possibilities. Every condominium has the right to, to manage their charging in whatever way they see fit. We have some ideas that we like to uh, put forward. This is a, a unique situation that's, that I'm gonna try as best I can to bring you to a few different unique situations so that you can see different approaches that people might use. So. One of the things we talk about is the possibility of community charging, and I'm, I'm a little hesitant about community charging sometimes. Community charging means we put in chargers where everybody's kind of going to share them. And uh, sometimes I'm a little concerned about how is that going to work out in terms of bringing vehicles in and out and uh, organizing it. Am I going to have enough time at the charger? Is this ultimately going to be the solution? Those will turn out to be my permanent parking space out here. But it still can be a first good step, and it, it can be something that can grow into having a combination of community or visitors uh, parking uh, chargers, also uh, individual charging. So that the, it, the whole system can still work together. So in this case, this condo thought this was the way to go. I, we had, uh, in, interestingly, very little communication. This is simply what they came to me and what they wanted to do. And I'm more than happy to accommodate whatever the, the condo board came. So I don't know, I don't have a lot of the background of what the board was thinking, but they're very fast acting and uh, it's been a very good customer for a very long time and hopefully continue to be a long time. So what I've got behind me is we've got these two chargers that are out in the front area. You can't tell it's a bit of a courtyard in front of the building and these two sort of unassigned spaces. We got our Signature Electric. This is our new branded Signature Electric. These are networked chargers. So you can tell these are network chargers because they have the tap card authentication. So in this case, the condominium could do whatever they like. They could assign a card to me if I lived in one of the suites. And when I come to use this unit or the other unit, it'll know that it was me. It'll know that uh, who to bill it to. So these have automated billing built in. The antenna and the information for reaching the internet is just behind the windows in the room here. So this was perfect, it was above ground. We didn't have to deal with getting an antenna up to a higher location, so it made it very simple. In fact, the other thing that I always say about the possibility of these is that it may not need much infrastructure. There's only two chargers here. So we didn't need to put a panel and transformers and everything. There was room in the electrical room. The electrical room is about 100 feet into the building here. So it was a couple of days work to get these chargers and to get the feed out here. So that was a savings for the corporation. They, they didn't need to deal with that. The other thing that you'll see that's just a little bit unique is this cord management system here. What we've, what we, when we normally put these chargers in, they come with this little unit where you can wrap the uh, cord around. If it goes into a single individual space, they're pretty good about wrapping it up. In my house, I wrap my cord up and it doesn't sit on the floor. But when this becomes sort of a, uh, a shared situation, it's possible to take the cord, finish it, and you may just, if the rest of the cord didn't have a place to be, you may not bother wrapping it up. Maybe you'll just stick it back in and let the cord rest on the floor. Well, today it's nice and dry and a little cold, but nice and dry. But this is gonna fill with snow and ice and everything else here. And it may not be too pleasant to have to pick that cord up out of the, whose responsibility is it gonna be? And when, and when somebody does drop it in, who's gonna come out here to clean it up? Whether it's in a workplace or out here where they're open to the community to have some kind of cable management. And, and we suggested this to the corporation. I hadn't really thought about it originally, and they said, yeah, for sure. It was only a very small add-on. And I think for most part, depending on how you orient your car, you probably almost won't need this. It's just enough to reach it, and maybe just a, a tiny tug if it's, if it's needed. Probably most cars, you're not gonna have to even unwrap the rest of this. But if the car was around, this is still a 24-foot cord. So if the car got, for whatever reason, the other way around, there's enough cable to get it to wherever we need to get it to. If they decided to go with individual chargers at some point, these chargers could still remain here. These could be for guests, these could be for visitors. They could have a card, a tap card at the front desk for authentication if that's the way they wanted to do it. And the same billing system that we're using for here will still work exactly the same charger in the individual spots. We talk a lot about power sharing, right? How many can we put on? These will be able to power share with the other units if that's what we decide we want to do. So again, to try to, if we end up with panels, to try to use that resource as best we can. It worked out really nicely here. Everything uh, is nice and clean out here. The white charger had, had, it goes beautifully with the, 
with the building. So we are looking for aesthetics as well. The idea of having the charger be relatively small and simple and white. White's normally what we find in the parking garages. So the branded charger we have for our single family residences is blue, but we selected white so that it would match nicely and sort of blend in with the, with the garages. So if somebody's coming to park, I don't know that they're gonna charge, but that's okay, we've got lots of space here. So if you're interested in this kind of solution or you need more information about power sharing, uh, load evaluations, you need a visit from somebody, some electrical work done, we're here in the city, we're here in Toronto. So you can reach us at 416-490-8093 or if you want to see more videos like this, take a look at our website. It's uh, signatureelectric.ca. Thanks a lot.